Insomniac's Ratchet & Clank series has always been a technical showcase on Sony's PlayStation consoles. 2002's Ratchet & Clank was praised at launch for its wide vistas, CGI-esque presentation, and art style. After a number of franchise outings on the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PS Vita, Insomniac stunned gamers with the 2016 Ratchet & Clank reboot. Leveraging the graphics horsepower of Sony's 8th gen console, Insomniac delivered an experience that could easily pass for an early 2000s CGI movie. Here in 2021, we're months away from the launch of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. The latest franchise entry leverages the entire swathe of 9th generation hardware improvements. We're getting vastly enhanced model and environment quality, hardware ray tracing, and a unique teleportation system that relies on the PlayStation 5's ultra-fast SSD storage. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart is still months away, though. However, Insomniac has shared a considerable amount of video content that shows the game in action and highlights the improvements they've brought to the table this time around. How does Rifts Apart build on the 2016 Ratchet & Clank reboot? How does Rifts Apart build on the PlayStation 5's hardware to offer something unique? Let's take a look. Ray Traced Reflections – Building on Spider-Man's Excellent Implementation Insomniac's Spider-Man Miles Morales and Spider-Man Remastered were standout showcases for PlayStation 5 ray tracing at launch. Both titles made great use of ray trace reflections, delivering a transformative improvement in a number of scenes, especially when Parker or Morales are perched upon high-rise glass facades. Ray trace reflections are a relatively less computationally expensive effect, this makes them a great fit for the RDNA 2 graphics hardware powering the PlayStation 5. Because AMD still hasn't introduced its AI resolution scaling technology, the only way to mitigate the performance impact of RT is through optimizing the implementation for performance. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart builds on the great work Insomniac did in Spider-Man, with a similar approach to ray tracing. Based on the trailers, we're looking at a solid ray trace reflection implementation. Clank is a highly reflective surface you see all the time, but plenty of environmental assets in the game's light sci-fi setting are also glossy and highly conducive to enhancement through ray trace reflections. From pipes and railings to puddles, there are plenty of areas where we see Insomniac implement ray tracing in much the same way as in Spider-Man. There are resolution cutbacks, and not all dynamic objects on screen get reflections. But it's a massive upgrade relative to the screen space reflections in 2016's Ratchet & Clank. There's one thing we're interested in here that's less certain. Rift Apart releases later in 2021, likely around the time that AMD implements its AI-powered alternative to Nvidia's DLSS. If we're looking at even remotely similar performance gains, there'd be considerable overhead to add in additional ray tracing effects, from shadows and lighting to global illumination. Will Insomniac take ray tracing even further prior to launch, or in a post-launch update? We'll just have to see. Model, Texture, and Environmental Quality 2016's Ratchet & Clank already did a phenomenal job in terms of core asset quality. High-poly models for Ratchet, Clank, and important NPCs, a great fur shader for Ratchet, and the CGI cartoon aesthetic mean that there isn't much room for day and night improvements in this area. However, Insomniac has made great use of the PlayStation 5's extra horsepower to crank things up further. Enemies and incidental assets receive a level of care that just wouldn't work with PlayStation 4-era polygon budgets. Physically-based material rendering was already implemented in 2016's Ratchet & Clank. Here we see refinement, paired with enhanced lighting quality, with models and objects that sit really well within the environment. Greater computational horsepower means less pop-in, too, and we see high-quality LODs across the board. The PlayStation 5's increased VRAM pool is also on display here. We see higher quality texture assets across the board, something that would not have been possible with the PlayStation 4's restrictive VRAM pool. High quality textures really help Rift Apart's assets shine and complement the increase in model poly counts. Post-processing, uncompromised quality. 
Rift Apart's post-processing pipeline is on full display in the gameplay demos we've seen so far, and things are looking very good. GPU cycles were a precious resource on 8th gen consoles. This meant that post-processing effects were often the first on the chopping block when it came to performance optimization. PlayStation 4 titles often featured lower quality depth of field, as well as motion implementations with a lower sample count. In Rift Apart, Insomniac has leveraged the PlayStation 5's considerable GPU prowess to deliver a full post-process experience. With cinematic, high-quality depth of field, per-object and camera motion blur on high sample counts, a restrained use of bloom, and relatively accurate ambient occlusion. In most AAA titles, these are top-end refinements that we see limited to PC, so it's great to see this implemented on console. Rift Apart – Unique Functionality Leveraging the PS5's SSD Rift Apart, the subtitle to this Ratchet & Clank installation, puts considerable focus on the Rift mechanism, which is in large part possible because of the PlayStation 5's SSD storage. The Rift portals are an immense technical achievement and leverage fast I.O. and memory. Some games from past generations also featured portals as a key gameplay element. However, because they were designed for traditional HDD storage, and in some cases for the Xbox 360's minuscule 512 megabytes of RAM, traversing those portals was anything but instant. The need to link asset streaming to hard drive transfer speeds is the reason loading screens between levels exist. With Rift Apart, the I.O. is fast enough that entire levels, or sections of them, can be loaded instantly vastly opening up gameplay possibilities. Another next-gen title, The Medium, set to arrive on PC and Xbox on January 26th, does a similar thing, though with just two interconnected world spaces. Whether or not Rift Apart's central feature turned out to be fun, or, well, just a gimmick, it's encouraging to see developers leverage SSD storage to create new gameplay possibilities. Looking at Rift Apart as a proof of concept, we're excited to see what other AAA developers will do with the ultra-fast storage. Conclusion Because of the unique transition between the 8th and 9th console generations, with an extended cross-gen period, it can be hard to tell exactly what the PlayStation 5's capabilities are by looking at existing games. Next-gen exclusive titles like Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart let us pull back the curtain and see what 9th-gen gaming will actually look like in the years to come, and we're pretty impressed. Insomniac took the CGI-esque visuals of 2016's Ratchet & Clank, added ray tracing, an SSD-based gameplay mechanic, and vastly improved assets. This is a game that lets you live out the fantasy of being in a CGI movie, and the visuals hold up. Ratchet. We are too late. Ratchet? Who? And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily, so make sure you don't miss them by subscribing. We appreciate your support, and we thank you for checking us out.